Hi, this is Andrew Ballner from Finland, uh, randomev.wordpress.com. Uh, I'm going to tell you about my Raspberry B uh, electric vehicle interface. I'm going to demo, demo it with, with the LCAT car we have. We are at the car, and I have connected uh, mobile, my mobile phone to the uh, Raspberry Pi. It's on that uh, address, and uh, here we see the uh, battery current from the uh, CAN shunt transmitted via uh, VLAN wireless to the uh, uh, phone. As soon as we start the car, now it's running, the amperage goes up. <laughs> Please note that the uh, colors are, are still in progress, but uh, you can see the, uh, at least the idea of the... We floor it, it takes about 300 amps maximum. This is old LCAT electric uh, vehicle. There is a Python, uh, little Python script that uh, gives the data, reads the data from canvas and gives it to a small JavaScript web page that updates the GAUG in the display. In next time I'll uh, soon I'll add other values of course such as voltage and lowest and highest temperatures and voltages but for now this is all I I have for now. You can zoom it. Uh, if you rotate it, it gives nice big, big display for the update rate. is not not so good yet, but uh, that will change when when I have more time to uh, adjust the software issues on this device. Okay, let's see how it works from, from uh, electrical side. So now we have opened it the trunk. It's quite messy but so here we have the box that has Raspberry Pi in in heat in it. And there is the can can bus shunt. Uh, Isabelle Hütte. This is can bus, and these are three voltage uh, measurements that can be used to measure back voltage, pre-charge voltage, and, and stuff like that. That's it. And as we. Uh, Regenerate it displays also that regen amperes. It all depends how the can shunt is connected, whether it's minus four driving or plus four for driving. The amperage count. And this is pure purely uh, HTML and JavaScript and Ajax, so it's it's usable from any device, not only just iPhones or Androids or uh, Windows phones, but all of them, because it's HTML. Any device that can display HTML can use this. And of course, it's also open source in the future when I 
have time to finish the small issues. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.